cardiogenic shock program at UPMC is really designed to deliver high quality, efficient care in the best way possible for our sickest heart patients. And we use a multidisciplinary approach for that. We have great healthcare professionals that are really invested in making sure we standardize the way we take care of these sick patients. Recognizing cardiogenic shock can be a challenge. Typically what we see is the heart's not getting enough blood to the rest of the body, or it's doing so with high levels of pharmacologic or mechanical support. As far as definitions of cardiogenic shock, we first look to see if there's a dysfunctional heart. So is the ejection fraction less than 35%? If there's also end organ dysfunction, kidney dysfunction, liver dysfunction, and elevated lactate, that tells us that that heart is not keeping up with the body. At that point, we need to activate the cardiogenic shock team and have a formal discussion. Activating the cardiogenic shock team consists of an alert that goes out to a multidisciplinary team. That includes the cardiothoracic surgeon, critical care intensivist, the cardiac intensivist, the heart failure transplant doctors, and the interventional cardiologists. That multidisciplinary team then meets, typically for less than about five minutes, and comes up with a good plan for each patient. When you refer a patient with cardiogenic shock to our team, we're very effective at delivering care in a quick, timely manner. Time is muscle, time is brain, time is kidney, liver. The quicker we can get to a patient, the quicker we can give them the best chance at surviving. By using the technological advancements that we've had, such as the Impella, using VA ECMO, using mitral clips, using other devices that can save lives that we didn't have access to before. The best part of UPMC's cardiogenic shock program is that we have at our disposal experts in all of these fields, so we know exactly what technology we could use for each patient. And with this team, we can get on the line and we can discuss with each other for each patient, what are the options for that patient? Can we get them here? Can we improve their care? Can we improve their outcomes? And with that, we're saving lives that we couldn't save before.